properly. It is a solid, prepared to go liquid, whose melting point just happens to be the exact temperature of your tongue. The toast, when toasted perfect, perfectly, will cave under pressure. It will crunch and cry out a warning to tempt us of its delicate insight. You like it when I wash and iron your whitest shirts and then wear them when I'm feeling naked and dirty underneath. I'm not sure why you like that so much. It makes me want to give you blowjobs in your backseat in front of your ex-girlfriend's house. The one that broke your heart into all those hungry, crumbly little pieces. Tonight, I want you to come into my kitchen and I will cook you up something extra saucy, extra long, extra, extra, extra. I will feed you with my hands, hold the tangled strands high above your head, and let them drop into your upturned, gaping mouth and coil at the back of your throat. Let the ends spill over your lips so you have to slurp them in. Let the sauce fly about the room, detonate burgundy-loaded fireworks to star, spangle, and stain the ceiling. If you come tonight, I'll find a way to make you want to stay for toast. Hmm.